Africa nuclear power, world on brink, panic grips West. The world watches in stunned silence as a collective announcement echoes across the globe. African nations, for the first time truly united under a Pan-African banner, declare their intention to pursue nuclear capabilities. A tremor of unease rattles across the West, sending shockwaves through the established global order. This is not a scene from a Cold War thriller, but a potential future unfolding before our eyes. The motivations behind this unprecedented move are multifaceted. Some see it as a necessary step towards securing Africa's resources and protecting against external threats. Others view it as a long overdue assertion of power and influence on the world stage. Whatever the reasons, the implications are vast and far-reaching. The specter of a nuclear-armed Africa casts a long shadow, raising fundamental questions about security, stability, and the future of international relations. In the coming weeks and months, the world will grapple with this new reality. The West, accustomed to its dominant position, faces a complex and uncertain landscape. African nations, once relegated to the periphery, stand poised to claim their place at the nuclear table. This is a story of ambition, defiance, and the potential for both peril and progress. It is a story that demands our attention, our understanding, and our collective action. As the curtain rises on this new chapter, the world watches with bated breath, wondering what the future holds for a continent on the brink of a nuclear dawn. Unveiling the motivations, why Africa might go nuclear. The specter of a nuclear-armed Africa sends shivers down spines across the globe. But what could drive a continent, once relegated to the fringes of the nuclear club, to pursue such a path? Let's delve into the possible motivations behind this potentially seismic shift. Securing resource wealth. Africa boasts a treasure trove of natural resources, from minerals and oil to fertile land and vast biodiversity. Yet, the continent has often been exploited for these very riches, leaving its people with a disproportionately small share of the benefits. A nuclear deterrent could be seen as a way to secure these resources, preventing external powers from plundering them with impunity. Shielding against external threats Africa has a long history of being subjected to foreign intervention, from colonialism to resource wars. The continent has witnessed the devastating consequences of conflict, and a nuclear program could be seen as a shield against future aggression. It could deter external powers from meddling in African affairs and provide a sense of security for vulnerable nations. Claiming a seat at the global table, nuclear weapons have long been associated with international power and prestige. For Africa, which has often been marginalized on the world stage, acquiring nuclear capabilities could be seen as a way to claim its rightful place at the global table. It could command respect and attention, giving African nations a stronger voice in international affairs and decision-making. A catalyst for Pan-African unity. The pursuit of a collective nuclear program could be a powerful unifying force for African nations. It could transcend national borders and forge a shared sense of destiny, fostering cooperation and collaboration across the continent. This newfound unity could be a driving force for development and progress, tackling challenges that individual nations alone might struggle with. The Western Turmoil, a World Reshaped Across the Western world, news of Africa's nuclear ambitions detonates like a bomb. The corridors of power erupt in a symphony of alarm, a tapestry woven of panic, disbelief, and frantic scrambling for answers. In Washington, the Oval Office has become a beehive of activity. Emergency advisors swarm in, a symphony of hushed murmurs and hurried briefings replacing the usual calm. President's eyes, etched with worry, dart across alarming intelligence reports. Generals pace, frustration palpable in the click of their heels. Across the Atlantic, the European Parliament erupts in pandemonium. French parliamentarians clash with their German counterparts, accusations of naivety and appeasement flying like verbal missiles. The usually stoic British Prime Minister struggles to maintain a facade of composure, beads of sweat glistening on his forehead. In the Pentagon, military brass huddle around holographic simulations, the chilling specter of nuclear detonations flickering across their screens. A seasoned general's voice cuts through the tense silence, his words heavy with doubt. Gentlemen, we've trained for decades to face rogue states, not entire continents. This changes everything. The media storm engulfs the globe. CNN, BBC, and Al Jazeera all echo the same dire refrain, Africa on the brink. Financial markets tumble, and stock prices plummet like falling dominoes. 
Fear courses through the veins of ordinary citizens, glued to their screens, the image of a mushroom cloud burning into their collective consciousness. The West, accustomed to its position of dominance, reels from this seismic shift. Old assumptions crumble, and Cold War nightmares resurface. The question hangs heavy in the air, has the world entered a new nuclear age, one shaped by the ambitions of a rising Africa? Navigating the new nuclear landscape. As the world grapples with the implications of Africa's potential nuclear ambitions, diverse voices rise to offer insights and perspectives. Let's dive into a tapestry of thought, woven from the expertise of nuclear proliferation experts. Dr. Anya Ivanova, Senior Researcher at the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute. Dr. Ivanova, Africa's potential entry into the nuclear club creates an unprecedented scenario. The existing non-proliferation regime, designed during the Cold War, might not be equipped to handle this unique situation. We need to explore options for regional security arrangements and confidence-building measures tailored to the African context. Political Analysts Mr. Kofi Asante, Pan-African Analyst and Commentator Mr. Asante, the West's panic reaction is understandable, but short-sighted. Africa's motivations need to be addressed with empathy and understanding. Historical injustices, resource exploitation, and a desire for self-determination cannot be ignored. Open dialogue and a commitment to multilateralism are essential to navigate this crisis. African Leaders President Amina Ndiaye, leader of the Pan-African Nuclear Initiative. President Ndiaye, Africa's pursuit of nuclear technology is not about aggression, but self-reliance. We seek the peaceful uses of nuclear energy for development, healthcare, and food security. However, we also need to ensure the utmost transparency and accountability to address concerns about proliferation. Mr. Nkosi Dlamini, leader of the anti-nuclear movement in South Africa. Mr. Dlamini, history teaches us that nuclear weapons only breed insecurity and destruction. Africa has already suffered enough from conflict. We must break free from the cycle of violence and pursue peace and development through diplomacy and collaboration, not nuclear warheads. These are just a few voices in the global chorus gracing with this momentous shift. It's crucial to listen to and understand the diverse perspectives of experts, politicians, and stakeholders across the continent and beyond. Only through open dialogue, mutual respect, and a commitment to a peaceful future can we navigate this new nuclear landscape and foster a world where security is shared, not weaponized. The West's Toolbox, Navigating a Nuclear Africa Africa's potential nuclear ambitions throw a wrench into the established global order, forcing the West to confront a novel and precarious situation. The West's arsenal of responses bristles with various options, each fraught with its consequences. Diplomatic Pressure Carrot and Stick, offering economic incentives for African nations to abandon their nuclear program while wielding the threat of sanctions as a deterrent. Multilateral engagement, spearheading international efforts through the UN and other forums to pressure Africa through joint declarations and resolutions. Direct negotiations, engaging in discreet, high-level talks with African leaders to understand their motivations and explore compromise solutions. Economic sanctions. Targeted sanctions, imposing financial restrictions on individuals and entities directly involved in the nuclear program. Broader sanctions, crippling entire trade sectors or even severing diplomatic ties to exert economic pressure on African nations. Double-edged sword, recognizing the potential for sanctions to backfire, fueling resentment and further isolating Africa. Covert operations. Espionage and sabotage, engaging in intelligence gathering and potentially even covert sabotage of the nuclear program. Cyber warfare, utilizing cyber attacks to cripple the infrastructure or steal sensitive information related to the program. Moral and legal gray area, recognizing the controversial nature of such tactics and the potential for unintended consequences. Military intervention. Surgical strikes, launching targeted airstrikes or commando raids to destroy key facilities or eliminate key personnel. Full-scale invasion, a last resort option fraught with immense human cost and potentially destabilizing the entire continent. Uncertain success and catastrophic risks, acknowledging the difficulty of achieving desired outcomes through military means and the potential for escalation into a devastating nuclear conflict. Choosing the right response demands a delicate balancing act. Each option carries its risks and rewards, and the potential consequences must be carefully considered. 
Understanding the political and social landscape within Africa, along with the complex web of international relations, is crucial for navigating this minefield. A tapestry of voices, Africa responds to the nuclear question. As news of Africa's potential nuclear ambitions ripples across the continent, a symphony of diverse reactions rises in its wake. Jubilation, apprehension, cautious optimism, each shade of emotion illuminates the complex tapestry of African perspectives. Jubilation in the streets. In some corners, jubilation erupts. For many Africans, the pursuit of nuclear capability symbolizes long overdue self-determination, a liberation from past exploitation, and a claim to their rightful place on the global stage. Apprehension and Skepticism Villager 1, Nuclear Weapons? We already struggle with droughts and wars. What good will these bombs bring us? Yet, apprehension whispers through rural villages and bustling marketplaces. The specter of nuclear weapons stirs memories of conflict and devastation, prompting anxieties about safety and unintended consequences. Cautious optimism among intellectuals. Professor Abinam Becky, yes, we must be cautious, but nuclear technology can also power hospitals, desalinate water, and drive development. Our challenge is to harness its potential responsibly. Intellectuals and activists navigate a nuanced path, acknowledging the risks while advocating for leveraging nuclear technology for peaceful purposes, prioritizing transparency and regional cooperation. Divisions within nations. Opposition politician, this program is a vanity project, draining resources from education and healthcare. We need peace, not bombs. Even within individual nations, divisions emerge. Governments face delicate balancing acts, grappling with internal pressure, and balancing security concerns with national aspirations. A shared desire for peace. Despite the diverse reactions, one common thread binds them all, a yearning for peace and progress. Africans want not just security, but a continent where technology fuels development, where children inherit a future unburdened by the threat of nuclear annihilation. Voices from the continent, hopes and fears in a nuclear Africa. As Africa contemplates the path toward nuclear capabilities, diverse voices rise to share their hopes and fears about this momentous decision. Let's delve into in-depth interviews with intellectuals, activists, and ordinary citizens, each offering a unique perspective on this unfolding story. Professor Amina Diop, renowned physicist. Professor Diop, nuclear technology can be a double-edged sword. Yes, it holds the potential for energy security, medical advancements, and agricultural improvements. But the specter of nuclear weapons is chilling. We must ensure safeguards, transparency, and a commitment to peaceful applications. Mr. Kwame Ndogo, anti-nuclear activist. Mr. Ndogo, history teaches us that nuclear weapons breed only paranoia and destruction. Look at Hiroshima, Nagasaki, Chernobyl, only paranoia and destruction. Look at Hiroshima, Nagasaki, Chernobyl. Africa has endured enough suffering. We need to invest in education, healthcare, and renewable energy, not weapons of mass annihilation. Miss Fatima Hassan, farmer and mother of three. Miss Hassan, I just want my children to grow up healthy and safe. What good is nuclear power if it means our land gets poisoned or our skies rain down fire? I pray our leaders to choose wisely and find a path towards peace and prosperity, not nuclear shadows. General Ibrahim Diallo, military veteran. General Diallo, I understand the concerns about weapons, but sometimes deterrence is necessary. Africa has been bullied for too long. Nuclear capability could ensure our sovereignty, prevent external aggression, and protect our resources. But it must be a last resort, used responsibly and transparently. Ms. Aya Abesai, university student and aspiring doctor. Ms. Aya Abesai, nuclear technology isn't just about weapons. It can revolutionize healthcare, diagnose diseases, and develop life-saving treatments. Imagine eradicating malaria or providing cancer therapy in remote villages. That's the power I see, a power to heal and lift our continent. Navigating the minefield, ensuring transparency and avoiding risks in Africa's nuclear pursuit. Africa's potential entry into the nuclear club sparks not just hope for development, but also a flurry of concerns. Ensuring transparency, preventing weapons proliferation, and navigating internal power struggles emerge as formidable challenges, demanding critical attention. Transparency, building trust in a skeptical world. 
international inspections, implementing and upholding rigorous safeguards agreements with the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, for monitoring and verifying the peaceful nature of the program. Open communication, sharing research goals, technological advancements, and nuclear material inventory with regional and international bodies to foster trust and address concerns. Public engagement, educating citizens about the benefits and risks of nuclear technology, encouraging participation in policy debates, and promoting nuclear literacy. Preventing proliferation, closing the door on nuclear weapons. Non-proliferation treaty adherence, joining and rigorously abiding by the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, NPT, to limit the spread of nuclear weapons and materials. Regional Security Dialogue, establishing robust regional frameworks for nuclear cooperation and non-proliferation, fostering mutual trust and confidence-building measures, accounting, and monitoring of all nuclear activities to prevent diversion for weapons purposes. Avoiding internal power struggles, sharing the atoms of peace. Democratic Oversight, establishing robust civil and parliamentary oversight mechanisms to ensure transparent decision-making and prevent abuse of nuclear power for political gain. Inclusive Development, distributing the benefits of nuclear technology equitably across regions and sectors, avoiding resource concentration and fueling internal tensions. Investing in human resources, prioritizing education and training in nuclear science and technology to build a broad expertise base and reduce dependence on foreign personnel. Addressing these challenges necessitates a multi-pronged approach. African nations must demonstrate a strong commitment to transparency, actively engage with the international community, and prioritize peace and development over militarization. The West, in turn, should move beyond knee-jerk reactions and engage in constructive dialogue, offering support for peaceful applications of nuclear technology while addressing proliferation concerns responsibly. A new dawn breaks, the global repercussions of a nuclear Africa. Africa's potential nuclear ambitions reverberate far beyond the continent's borders, triggering a chain reaction of repercussions that reshape the global landscape. Buckle up as we explore the ripple effects, from the reconfiguration of power dynamics to the reshuffling of economic cards. The rise of a multipolar world. A challenge to existing hegemony, the established order, dominated by the West, faces a direct challenge with the emergence of a new nuclear power block in Africa. This could lead to a more multipolar world, with power more evenly distributed and regional alliances taking center stage. Shifting sands of diplomacy, traditional alliances may be strained, with nations reassessing their allegiances based on newfound realities. Old friends might become rivals, and former foes might find surprising partnerships in a world where the balance of power hangs precariously. Africa's voice on the global stage, nuclear capability could amplify Africa's voice on the world stage, giving it greater leverage in international negotiations on issues like climate change, resource allocation, and global governance. The reshuffling of alliances. Western influence wanes. The West's traditional dominance in Africa might face significant challenges. Economic partnerships could be reconfigured, and military interventions become less palatable with a nuclear-armed Africa in the picture. New power brokers emerge, regional powers like China, Russia, and India could see strategic opportunities in a nuclear Africa, offering support and forging new alliances based on shared interests and common ground. South-South cooperation gains momentum, collaboration and solidarity among developing nations could intensify, with Africa finding support and partnerships within the Global South, potentially leading to the formation of new economic and political blocs. Economic consequences, boom or bust. Nuclear energy opportunities, the peaceful applications of nuclear technology could unlock immense potential for Africa, powering development, advancing healthcare, and boosting agricultural productivity. This could usher in an era of rapid economic growth and technological advancement. Proliferation fears and sanctions, however, the specter of nuclear weapons could trigger economic sanctions and deter foreign investment, potentially stifling economic progress and undermining development efforts. Resource security and sovereignty, nuclear capability might provide leverage for African nations to negotiate fairer deals for their natural resources, potentially empowering them to achieve greater economic independence and security. A ticking clock, the shadow of a new arms race and heightened nuclear risks. Africa's potential entry into the nuclear club casts a long, ominous shadow over the world stage. 
the specter of a new arms race weakened treaties, and a heightened risk of nuclear conflict becomes a chilling reality we can no longer ignore. Let's examine these precarious possibilities. The looming arms race. Fear breeds competition, Africa's nuclear ambitions could trigger a chain reaction, with existing nuclear powers feeling compelled to modernize their arsenals and other nations tempted to pursue their programs in a bid for deterrence. The domino effect, the NPT, the cornerstone of global non-proliferation efforts, could face unprecedented strain. Other regions, like the Middle East or South Asia, might see Africa's decision as a green light for their nuclear aspirations. A spiraling arms race, this domino effect could escalate into a dangerous arms race, consuming vast resources that could be better directed towards pressing global challenges like poverty, disease, and climate change. Weaken treaties and erosion of norms. NPT under pressure, the non-proliferation treaty, already facing challenges, could be significantly weakened if Africa chooses to withdraw or remain outside its framework. This could undermine the entire non-proliferation regime, jeopardizing decades of painstaking efforts. Erosion of taboos, the long-held taboo against nuclear weapons, built upon the horrors of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, could erode. The use of nuclear technology for peaceful purposes in Africa could inadvertently normalize the concept of nuclear power, making it easier for others to justify weapons programs. Loss of moral authority, nuclear-armed nations might feel less constrained by international norms and laws, potentially increasing the risk of reckless behavior and further destabilizing the international order. Accidental or intentional nuclear conflict. Miscalculation and technical errors, the risk of accidental nuclear detonation rises with more countries possessing the technology. Miscalculations, technical malfunctions, or cyber attacks could trigger catastrophic consequences even without deliberate intent. Regional instabilities and proxy wars, existing conflicts in Africa could escalate into devastating nuclear confrontations, engulfing neighboring countries and potentially drawing in external powers with vested interests. Rogue actors and the terrorist threat, the possibility of nuclear materials falling into the wrong hands, whether through theft, proliferation, or internal power struggles, cannot be dismissed. Terrorist organizations acquiring nuclear capabilities could unleash unimaginable horrors on the world. Navigating the nuclear maze, insights from international law and disarmament. With Africa's potential nuclear ambitions casting a long shadow, the world anxiously seeks pathways toward global stability. Let's turn to experts in international law and disarmament advocacy, their voices beacons of hope amidst the uncertainty. Dr. Anya Ivanova, Senior Researcher at the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute. Dr. Ivanova, strengthening the NPT is crucial. We need universal adherence, enhanced verification mechanisms, and addressing underlying security concerns that drive proliferation. Engaging Africa constructively, recognizing their development aspirations, is key to achieving progress. Mr. Kofi Asante, Pan-African Analyst and Commentator. Mr. Asante, dialogue and regional cooperation are paramount. An African nuclear non-proliferation treaty, tailored to the continent's specific needs, could foster transparency and confidence-building measures. Investing in renewable energy and peaceful applications of nuclear technology can pave the way for sustainable development. Ms. Amina Ndiaye, leader of the International Network for Nuclear Disarmament. Ms. Ndiaye, civil society has a vital role. We must advocate for nuclear disarmament as the ultimate goal, pressuring governments to prioritize dialogue and multilateral solutions. Education and awareness campaigns can build a global constituency for a nuclear-free world. Professor Hiro Tanaka, renowned expert on international law. Professor Tanaka, strengthening international legal frameworks is essential. Exploring legal interpretations of the NPT that address technological advancements and potential loopholes can contribute to closing proliferation pathways. Mr. Nkosi Dlamini, leader of the anti-nuclear movement in South Africa. Mr. Dlamini, we must remember the human cost of nuclear weapons. Engaging young people in the anti-nuclear movement, amplifying their voices, and highlighting the devastating consequences of nuclear conflict can build a grassroots movement for peace. As the curtain falls on our exploration of Africa's potential nuclear ambitions, we stand at the precipice of an unwritten future. Three paths stretch before us, their destinations shrouded in mist. The path of peaceful coexistence. 
A future where Africa harnesses nuclear technology for development, powering hospitals, desalinating water, and driving agricultural advancements. A global nuclear order strengthened by transparency, regional cooperation, and unwavering commitment to non-proliferation. A world where the shadow of nuclear weapons shrinks, replaced by the sunlit horizon of shared prosperity and sustainable progress. The Path of Nuclear Confrontation A future scarred by regional conflicts escalating into devastating nuclear confrontations. A domino effect of proliferation, shattering the NPT and unleashing a new arms race across the globe. A world gripped by fear and insecurity, where every sunrise brings the chilling possibility of annihilation. The Path of Diplomatic Solutions A future where diplomacy triumphs over fear, fostering dialogue and understanding between Africa and the international community. A race against time, forging creative solutions that address security concerns, promote peaceful applications of nuclear technology, and build bridges of trust. A world where humanity chooses cooperation over annihilation, where the atom becomes a symbol of progress, not destruction. Which path will we choose? The answer lies not in the stars, but in the choices we make today. Each voice raised in dialogue, each action taken in pursuit of peace, each drop of sweat spilled in diplomatic efforts is a step towards the path of coexistence. The future is not preordained. It is a tapestry woven by the threads of our decisions, our actions, and our collective will. Let us choose wisely, for the stakes have never been higher. Weaving a tapestry of peace, international cooperation in a nuclear Africa. Africa's potential nuclear ambitions stand as a monumental crossroads, a moment where the future hangs precariously balanced. At this pivotal juncture, one element emerges as the vital thread weaving together a hopeful tapestry, international cooperation. Dialogue, understanding, and a shared commitment to peace must become the cornerstones of navigating this unprecedented situation. Dialogue, a bridge across divides. Open and honest communication between African nations, the West, and the global community is paramount. Engaging in respectful dialogue, listening to diverse perspectives, and acknowledging legitimate security concerns can build trust and pave the way for collaborative solutions. Embracing multilateral forums like the United Nations and regional platforms allows for constructive discussions, fostering understanding and finding common ground where unilateral actions often fail. Civil society and grassroots organizations must play a critical role in facilitating public discourse, encouraging informed engagement, and amplifying the voices of ordinary citizens who yearn for a peaceful future. Understanding Beyond the Headlines Moving beyond simplistic narratives and recognizing the complex tapestry of aspirations, anxieties, and historical injustices shaping African perspectives is crucial. Understanding the motivations driving Africa's nuclear ambitions, from development aspirations to fears of external exploitation, paves the way for tailored solutions that address the root causes of these concerns. Embracing cultural awareness and appreciating the richness of African perspectives on technology, security, and development is essential for forging genuine partnerships and fostering lasting cooperation. Cooperation, a shared journey to peace. Investing in peaceful applications of nuclear technology, from healthcare and agriculture to renewable energy, can offer tangible benefits for Africa, fostering development and demonstrating the value of this technology beyond weapons. Strengthening international safeguards and non-proliferation regimes through increased transparency, technical assistance, and joint verification efforts can build trust and ensure peaceful nuclear programs. Supporting regional initiatives and African-led solutions while upholding international frameworks can empower African nations to take ownership of their nuclear future and foster a sense of shared responsibility for global security. The path ahead won't be easy. Navigating the uncharted waters of a nuclear Africa demands unwavering commitment, creative solutions, and a profound appreciation for the power of international cooperation. Only by weaving a tapestry of dialogue, understanding, and shared action can we hope to steer towards a future where the atom fuels progress, not fear, and where Africa's ambitions blossom in the radiant light of a nuclear-free world. Urgency and Hope Africa's nuclear future hangs in the balance. It's a story not just of power and politics, but of people the mothers fearing for their children, scientists dreaming of progress, and leaders wrestling with complex choices. The path ahead won't be easy. It demands more than headlines and sound bites. It demands your voice. Don't let this moment be silenced. 
Gather your friends, family, and communities. Watch this video together, spark conversations, and challenge assumptions. Let knowledge be your shield, understanding your bridge. There's a future where the atom empowers, not destroys. Where African ambitions bloom in the light of a nuclear-free world. That future isn't inevitable. It's a tapestry we weave together, thread by informed thread, action by courageous action. Raise your voice. Advocate for peace. Be the change you want to see. This is your story. This is your future. Choose hope. Choose action. Choose peace. The shadow of a nuclear Africa stretches across your doorstep. It touches your children, your loved ones, your future. It's not a distant issue. It's a shared responsibility. Remember that moment with your child under the stars? Imagine that sky choked with smoke, that laughter replaced by sirens. This isn't someone else's fight. It's ours. Contact your leaders. Demand they prioritize diplomacy, champion solutions, and push for a world where dialogue, not bombs, shapes the future. Join the chorus of voices rising for peace. Every action, every word, creates ripples of change. Together, we can choose a different story. A story where atoms heal, not harm. A story where Africa's light illuminates the path to a nuclear-free world. This is your moment. Be the author of peace. Be the hero of your own story. The clock is ticking. Africa's nuclear ambitions ignite a race against time. But this isn't a competition, it's a collaboration. A chance to weave a tapestry of solutions, strand by informed strand. Don't be a bystander in history. Pick up the needle and join the movement. Contact your representatives, demand action, and support peace initiatives. This isn't about power, it's about people. Imagine a world where nuclear energy powers hospitals, not bombs. Where African scientists cure diseases, not build weapons. That's the future we can create, together. Every click, every call, every act of courage paves the way. This is your planet. This is your legacy. Choose peace. Choose action. Choose the future you believe in. The power is in your hands. Use it. Remember, we're all part of this journey together. Let's keep exploring, learning, and growing. Until next time, stay curious and keep spreading those positive vibes. Thanks for joining in. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to hit that like button, drop a comment, and hit subscribe to stay tuned for more exciting content coming your way.